In this video, we're going to do a problem where we're asked to find a missing measurement uh, of a triangle when we're given the area. Okay, so we're going to use again the formula for the area of a triangle. So if you recall, the area of a triangle can be found uh, using the following, following formula, uh, one half of the base times the height. So this is known as a linear equation, and you can um, solve a, uh, a linear equation as long as you only have one missing variable. So in this case, we actually do only have one missing variable. What we have here is we have the area. So I have the area right here. Okay, so area is uh, 20 yards squared. And it looks like here I'm given the height of this uh, triangle. Okay. So H, so what's missing? Well, B is missing. Okay, so I'm missing B. So I need to find the base. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to start by just plugging in the numbers into the formula. So what do I have? I have that 20 yards squared okay, is equal to 1 half okay, times B, which is our base, times... H, which is 5 yards. Okay. So right here now I have an equation with one unknown. And I'm going to go about solving that equation. Okay, so what I have to do is I have to try to get B alone on the right-hand side here. So I have the right-hand side, I have half times B times 5. And I can get rid of some of these uh, things on the right-hand side by using inverse operations. I have multiplication by 5 here. Uh, so to cancel out multiplication by 5, what I can do is I can divide by 5. And I can do that by just using the fraction line. So I'm going to use that on the right-hand side and divide the entire right-hand side by 5 yards. But it's very important to keep the equation balanced that I do this to the other side as well. Otherwise, I'm actually changing the equation, and I don't want to do that. So I have to divide the left-hand side also by 5 yards. Okay, I'll extend the page here a little bit. So let's just simplify this. What happens? Well, let's, what happens to the left-hand side here? The left-hand side have 20 yards squared divided by 5 yards. 20 divided by 5 is 4. And if you remember, you recall your exponent laws here. I have yards squared divided by yards. I have an imaginary 1 here, a little imaginary 1 exponent. 2 minus 1 is 1. I'm going to subtract the exponent. So I'm just going to wind it with 4 yards here, 4 yards. Okay, so there's no more yards squared. And that is equal to 1 half times b. So what is this? I have 1 half times b. I could actually further simplify this one right here. I could say, well, there's a couple ways I can do this. We're going to do it this way. I could say 4 yards is equal to, if I take a half b, that's the same thing as saying uh, b over 2. Okay, b times 1 over 2. Okay, so what's happening to b in, in this case? How, how am I going to get rid of this 2 on the bottom? What is that? Well, uh, that is division by 2 right here. This is division by 2, right? Division by 2. And that should make sense because taking half of something is like is is like saying divide by 2, right? If you, you want half of 16, half of 16 is what? Half of 16 is 8. I'm dividing 16 by 2. So this is division by 2. So how am I going to get rid of that? I am going to multiply both sides by 2. So here we're going to go times 2, times 2. Okay, so this multiplication by 2 cancels out with that division by 2. And what am I left with? Well, let's simplify here. 2 times 4 is 8, so I have 8 yards is equal to B. So my missing dimension, the base of the triangle is 8 yards.